Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the Gazruki Summoning Stone Gold Farm. Let us begin. Okay, so today we're going to be going over an oldie but a goodie and isn't really talked about all that much. This is pretty much a forgotten gold farm, however it can actually bring in a decent amount of gold overall. That being said, what you're going to be wanting to do is make your way over towards the Northern Barrens. Over here are on just north of Groldum Farm, you'll find yourself right in this lovely little section over here. Once you know you're in the right place, you'll find a load of the Kirkron units from the Mr. Pandaria expansion. These all have a chance of dropping the Gazruki Summoning Stone, which all of these mobs have a chance in between of getting a hold of this battle pet at a 0.01 all the way over towards 0.07 of a drop chance. Along with that, my preferred method in order to do this is by literally running around in a circle because all of these mobs have a chance of dropping them and they're all quite spread out. This is probably best done on a druid, however I do have my demon hunter with me and you do get these massive packs of these engineers. They all have a chance of dropping the Gazruki summoning stone and in about an hour's worth of farming you're most likely going to be getting a hold of at least one of these battle pets. However, this is just a nice alternative gold farm that isn't really done all that much. If we go on the auction house right now and we just double check how much gold the Gazruki is actually going for, it's currently going at a level one of around about 10,000 gold each. That means that you can also hold this on for super squirt day or just squirt day in general and level it up in your garrison up to level 25 in order to increase the gold value which is nearly double if you actually wait and that can bring it up to around about 17,000 gold for this gold farm. Along with that you also do have a chance of getting the some really nice transmog gear just in general for padding out your auction house with these humanoid mobs from Mr. Pandaria, which to be quite frank, those ones actually tend to sell relatively well in the grand scheme of things when it comes towards Mr. Pandaria. Along with that, with the high density of mobs, you should be able to get at least one of these battle pets within an hour's worth of farming. Along with that, the most I've ever gotten in one hour's worth of farming of this actual area is around about three, and this was running around doing this solo by myself. However, it will take some time getting used to a nice little run area because it definitely takes me a while uh, if I haven't done the actual gold farm in a while to actually find out a good neat path in order to figure out. However, it is mainly just running around the base camp right over here and then making your way over to this one over here. I benchmark it with just running around this area and by the time I do a full loop, they will have started to respawn, meaning that I always have milps to actually farm up. That being said, this is a nice quick little gold farm to go over and if you want any other additional gold making resources, video guides or anything to that effect or even my book that is, then you can find that on the Patreon. Other than that, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.